ahead and uh, went down to Stevens Aero Model today and picked up their latest kit to bring back the roots of the hobby, the Quick Oats. It's the, one of their tune scale models that's built up using the bricks from some of the Park Zone airplane. I watched it at one of the local fly-ins uh, before uh, Bill Stevens released it and I thought it was real fun. Uh, you'll see in the video I'm going to post a couple pictures of myself at about 10 years old flying an old Quaker Flash which uh, this is based off of. The videos that you'll see following this, I'll put it in a uh, playlist, is hopefully going to be a build log depending on how I you know, feel like doing it. Hopefully I can remember to turn the camera on and keep it going while I build it. I'm not exactly the most advanced builder, but uh, hopefully you guys can learn something, ask questions, and uh, you know, learn something. Uh, maybe I can learn something as well. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Alright, well here I am at uh, my bench with my Quick Oats 100. It's a, uh, again, like I said in the introduction, it's a 22 inch wingspan. It's probably going to come in at one and a half to two ounce weight. I'm going to be using the Park Zone bricks, which I got here on this little box. It's just going to be three channels and count with the motor in it as well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which motor I'm going to use yet. I've got both a uh, Foresight motor and a Sukhoi motor. So we'll see which one I decide to use. The Foresight motor will obviously give me more power, but I don't think I really need power in this airplane. It's got uh, real low wing loading and should be pretty fun. Uh, got some Aerolite cover for it. Went with cream. Uh, gonna probably try and get some different trim to go so it's just not all one color. I'll have to go down in the basement and find some other colors to see if it'll be acceptable to match with this. instructions. Just like his other kits, he wants you to sand the back side of each one of these because there's just a little bit of residue from uh, the laser cutting process. So he provided a nice little sanding block with, uh, you know, of course, coarse and fine grit. So I'm just gonna, just gonna do just that. Just want to point out, I mean, if you've never built any sort of balsa wood models, uh, you really need to. Don't just buy all the foam stuff that you see on Horizon Hobby. Uh, I know it's becoming a lost art. I, I don't do it enough just because of, you know, work and everything else, and I always think that I'm too busy, but uh, obviously with the weather as it's been here in Colorado Springs, it's a, it's a perfect time to build. So if you've never done it, don't be intimidated by it. You know, get get your fingers stuck together with some glue and uh, learn the appreciation of of building something with wood and, and shrinking some covering around it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, you can definitely see the, uh, the laser residue on the back of all these fine cuts. What I'll do is I'll hold that up after I do that light sanding. the difference after it's all sanded. So it definitely makes a difference.
final product here. So there's that horizontal stab. And I'm just going to glue these in, but I haven't done it yet, so. And the vertical and the rudder. As you can see, it's just like a puzzle piece. Super easy.